first major win come true. Welcome back. Time for the championship matches. Carol Giannotti and Leanne Barrett square off. And Barrett obviously has been watching because she's noticed, as have you, that in the last two matches, when Giannotti Block starts the match, she ends on a lane where she's thrown three strikes. So Barrett has elected to open up in match number four. Leanne will be playing the deep inside line that Carol is playing. Actually, even a little deeper. Not giving the ball enough room. Actually pretty fortunate there not to leave a split. Leanne led this tournament, John, from start to finish. Had a 300 pin lead over second place going into the last day of match play. Came out, the lanes were much tighter. She said she had to play 12 boards right of any other time in the tournament. So complete change in condition. She managed to hang on to the number one position. Of course, you talk about how dominant Barrett was. You can see her standings by round. And again, we talked about Carol Norman and how she likes to, to start out slow and build. That's exactly what happened to her this week. Everybody else was pretty well hanging, uh, hanging around. And the big bang for Giannotti Block in shot number one. As this is the final telecast of the Ladies Pro Bowlers Tour on ESPN in the 1996 calendar year. Leala, you and I both want to say thanks to our broadcast team, our partners, folks who work on this telecast on a week-to-week -week basis. Lisa Serencioni, Kent Samuel, George Smith, Jim Townsend, Dick Dorner, Jacques Darden, and many of the other people who have been involved in our regular telecasts. We say thank you for helping us out with this telecast. Leanne Barrett trying to get something going here. She knows Carol Giannotti's very lined up. She's confident, and that's something that Leanne Barrett has actually been lacking in. A lot of confidence. She does have a little bit of the deer caught in headlights look in her eyes when I've seen her bowl on television. Well, she said she's been having trouble living up to her own expectations. She won earlier this year in Lubbock. It was in February. Really thought that was a breakthrough for Leanne. Since my physical game's been great, she's just really trying to dig deep and find the confidence. So a uh, strike, second spare, I should say, uh, in a row for Leanne Baird is also one of those Robbie Award winners, one of those sportsmanship award earners. Fourth woman in history to roll back-to-back -back 300s, over half a million dollars in career earnings. Now trailing by 11. Leanne actually felt the success she had this week was due to the fact that she was trying not to try too hard. <laughs> See the powerful hit that she can get when she does get to the pocket. One of the original players Look at the lane breakdown. Lane 20 is where Carol Giannotti has finished out the last two matches, so she was able to throw a few additional shots there, but she's definitely locked in on 20. She's confident. If she had to get up in the 10th frame, she would just say to herself, hey, I did this two times before. So Leanne Barrett took that off of her. She said, well, if anything else, I'm going to try to play with your mental game, and I'm going to make you finish on lane 19. For those of you just joining us, Carol Giannotti was the fifth rank, the fifth seed into this tournament, and she defeated Carol Norman in match number one, 247 to 194, and then she beat Kim Adler, who has strung two victories in a row, and Adler dropped 210 to 194. Giannotti Block went ahead and defeated Kim Kennedy, 213 to 204, to get into the championship match. She's on a tear right now, isn't she? She is. You could just, you, you can see it as she delivers the ball. You can see there's no um, apprehension there. It's Leanne Barrett, on the other hand, is adding tape. You know, you can see her hands shaking as well. She's nervous. It's interesting because on this TV pair, Leanne Barrett enjoys a 19-pin advantage over the next best. In fact, Carol Giannotti had the worst advantage, uh, average on the TV pair. 
Well, that's the difference days can make. 45 pins between the two TV pair averages. Oh, 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 oh. Giannotti opens the door. Big mistake. And you mentioned TV pair averages. As you said, Carol, that was going into tonight. Carol averaged 192 tonight. She has shot games of 247, 210, and 213. Leanne's television pair averaged 236. The highest, as you mentioned, John, of all five. By far, by 19 pins. Ooh. Not looking too dominant right now. Now again, <laughs> nicknamed Boomer, you can see why, really sends the ball right. Ball goes down the lane long, then hooks back. She's just getting to the dry a little quick here. She's got to get the ball down the lane a little farther, even, than where she is. She played a part of the lane this week that nobody else could and got the best reaction in the back end. She said she stayed with the same ball through the majority of the tournament. But she's never done that. So, Barrett, top qualifier, trailing by eight. Working on a spare. Strike there in the fourth would have put her ahead by two with a key shot. In match play, Barrett did beat Giannotti as well as Kim Kennedy. Had one of the lowest match play records for the week. Actually only one but going into the last day, 10 matches. Other people had won 16. It was amateur Jennifer Kelkamp, pulled excellent. And 10 and 14 in match play for Leanne. Uh, Jennifer Kelkamp, as I mentioned, uh, came on, surprised everybody, but couldn't lose a match. She was, uh, I believe, 14 and two wow. after Bless. 16 games of match play. We'll probably see a lot more from her in the years to come. Well, bonus pins, you know, make a big difference. You get 30 pins bonus for each match you win. Well, she bounced off that open nicely, didn't she? And she has not missed the pocket in five frames, other than missing the 10 pin in the fourth frame. A lot of jewelry on Giannotti. Mm -hmm. Wears a lot of gold, wears a wristwatch with two faces on it, one for her home time zone in Australia and one for wherever she happens to be that week. Well, that's good because she probably won't call home in the middle of the night. <laughs> that's right. Don't <laughs> wake up anybody. So sorry there. <sighs> and she's definitely on a tear today. Five strikes out of six frames. Gennady Block is leading. We'll see how she does in this championship match. Title and $17,000 are at stake. Stay with us. We'll find out how it turns out. Welcome back. John Neighbor with Dalla Wagner. We're in the championship match at the last stop on the Pro Bowlers Tour for the ladies. And Barrett goes a little high, working on a spare. See her say after she threw the ball, come on. Again, with the reaction she is getting, she is just not getting the ball far enough to the right. And the only other key for her is to get farther left or go to something that might not hook much in the back end. Of course, Bob Newman, the